Hey guys, welcome to Guns and Guitars. On this video, we're going to talk about the one upgrade that you might want to do to one of these beautiful guitars, the PRS SE series. This one's my EG. And the one thing that you might want to add to one of these, because these are absolutely wonderful guitars without doing a thing to them, is you might want to add locking tuners. Now, if you're like me, you're slightly guitarded, and when you're winding your strings, you always have that one string that overlapped a little bit or ended up trying to go up the post instead of down the post when you're doing your windings, and every time you tune your guitar, that one string seems to try to go out of tune on you. Well, when you put on these locking tuners, you eliminate that problem altogether. In addition, you make it incredibly easy to string your guitar when you are putting on a new set of strings. You just pull it through the hole as tight as you can. There's a little winder on the back of the locking tuner. You just tighten that up, and then usually you'll end up with about a half of a turn, half of a wind on the, on the um, post, and you'll be in tune. You just stretch them as normal, and you're good to go. Now, do you want to make any changes to your PRS guitar, are you worried about that? Well, first of all, if you go on PRS's site and order any of their American-made locking tuners, they tell you right on their site that you're going to have to drill holes in the back of your headstock. So now you're going to have this like woody woodpecker effect in the back of your guitar. Well, with these, and these are from Guitar Fetish, you don't have to drill any holes. They're an exact fit for your PRS guitar. Now for the style where you have three tuners on each side, it's the E70s from Guitar Fetish. If you're using a Stratocaster, a Mexican Stratocaster, you can get an exact fit with staggered locking tuners with the E66. I'll show you those. Now, the stagger tuners are just awesome, too. You really don't need the string tree after you put those on. And again, it's an exact fit. You don't need to do anything as far as drilling goes. The holes line up perfectly. Everything works wonderfully. And they cost about $35 a set. Now, you do have to pay shipping. The set for the PRS, or they, for some reason they call those Spurzel style, and then on the Stratocaster they call those Godo style, but um, they basically work exactly the same. Now, this is the PRS, obviously, and this is the locking tuner from the guitar fetish folks. The reason they look so similar is they're actually made in the same factory in Korea, and the company that makes the locking tuners for Guitar Fetish makes the regular tuners for PRS. It's the Jin Ho factory, and it says it right on the back of the tuners. It says that they're made in Korea. Um, as far as adding any weight to your guitar, the locking tuners actually weigh 39.3 grams. The PRS standard tuners weigh 33 grams, so you're adding 6.3 grams per tuner. If you add all that up, it's about an ounce and a third to your guitar headstock, almost nothing. So it's, um, it really doesn't add any significant weight or any real change that you would ever notice. And again, the, the holes, the posts, everything lines up. You can use the exact same hardware, um, screws, the nuts. And they're just absolutely wonderful. I, I can't recommend these highly enough. And um, I don't have anything to do with guitar fetish. That's, um, you know, just who I happen to order these from. But I am going to put a link for them down below and also a link for the PRS um, support website so you can take a look at their information also. But if you want to do one improvement to your PRS SE guitar, this is the only thing I would do to it. Um, it just you know t takes a fantastic guitar and makes it even just that much better.
Anyway, I hope this helped, and um, again, the stock number for the PRS guitar is E70, and for the Mexican-style Stratocaster, or Mexican-made Stratocaster, it's the E66. And um, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll subscribe and um, check back for some more on guns and guitars. Thanks.